Hey guys, this is JNT, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. We are here in the Ice Temple, and we are about to take on the boss. Gliok, two-headed dragon. Now, for anyone who's familiar with Zelda, you may remember Gliok. Uh, he's a little different in this game than in past ones. Uh, but, if I'm not mistaken, Gliok has existed ever since the very first Zelda. Oh. Oh, not fast enough. fighting style that we have to use against this Gliok is very different from the past ones. Uh, you may have noticed what I'm doing though. Um, we've got the red head and the blue head. And the red head seems to shoot out a fireball, and the blue head seems to shoot out some kind of an ice ball. So, put a rope in place. And bounce the, uh... Bounce their fireball or ice ball or whatever back at them. Oh. And they send this wave at you, get up on the pegs, and you'll be fine. Oh, just a minute. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, back to our fight with Glia. Alright, water level has dropped, and they're back. I'm not going to have enough time to block that. Just made it. Oh, we've taken off the armor of the blue one. And now the red one as well. And now they're getting mad. Okay. 
Okay, so. Can you break up this ice? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so stand on the pegs to... Stand on the pegs to avoid the wave in the first place. And then get up on the peg. Or, uh, get down off the peg to avoid the ice. Now I... What are they gonna do now? Okay, they've taken out two of the pegs. Hmm. Okay, so we don't grab onto their tongues, but... But we can, but that's not what we're supposed to do. So, let's see. Uh, can we stick their tongue onto one of these posts? Yes! And now the blue one comes in to take a few bites. Preparing for his special shot. Looks like they're getting mad again. Back upon the post. Just a moment there, guys. Sorry about that. It becomes difficult to uh, work a computer when you have a cat standing in front of your screen. Okay, so the blue gliok is coming back to do some more biting. Like we've killed the blue head. And, and there's the red one. We got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added.
We're running low on time, but uh, I'm just going to grab the heart container and stuff and get out of here. This episode might run a tiny bit longer than usual, but that'll be alright. You got the Azarine! It's one metal you need to make the Sacred Sword. Only a sword forged of the three pure metals has the power to defeat Bellum. You got the pure metal you were looking for! You did it, Link! Things got pretty wild and woolly on this island, but it was all worth it. guys that's all for today uh, my name is Jayon T and once again we are playing through the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass have a great day guys see ya